Hi guys, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John. Today, we're gonna to be looking at my top three guns under a thousand pounds. First, we're gonna look at the top three that I've picked from the shop, and then we're gonna talk about the potential top three. Do the whiteboard. So first, definitely first, my top pick for under a thousand pounds at the shop from today is this. This is a Beretta 680 Special Skeet Edition. It is exactly 1,000 uh, pounds. So it's not entirely under 1,000. So why is this in my Top Guns under 1,000 pounds? Well, first things first, it's a Beretta 680 Series Action. They are unbelievably indestructible. Secondly, it's just about old enough to have some hand engraving on there, which is, you know, tickles my artistic eye. And probably the most important thing is this. This gun comes with a two barrel set, skeet barrels and sporting barrels. So you can shoot your average clays and all your skeet with those skeet barrels, and yet you still have a choked set of barrels that you can go out and do some hard, hard duty with. I mean, you can't go too far wrong there for a thousand pounds. Imagine this is the precursor to the 682, if you will, and you get some of the nice stock dimensions that you get. This is a hardcore, dedicated, skeet style, sporting style gun. It's a hardcore clay gun. And that, for a thousand pounds, I mean, that's hard enough to find in the first place. The fact that it comes up real nice for me, apart from the length issue, uh, is by the by. I really like it. And that is number one. Number two, brand new at £1,000 is this. This is the Webley 1000 series. Made for Webley and Scott in Italy by Bet & Solly. It's brilliant. It's kind of like a Bet & Solly with some slightly more intelligent UK spec measurements. And obviously that makes me quite happy. I like the forend, I like the fact that you've got a big palm swell again. If you've got a palm swell, a lot more closed grip than this. And to be honest, as I'm sure if you've seen the review video, they copied a lot of the dimensions off the Mark 38, which is one of a personal favorite. It comes up nicely and it feels like a lot of gum for a thousand pounds. Obviously there is a game edition without the palm swell with a thinner rib that shoots a little bit flatter, if that makes you happy. Last but definitely not least in my top three guns under a thousand pounds comes right here. This is a little Alex Henry, Birmingham built, but finished in Scotland, Damascus box lock non-ejector. It is simply gorgeous. There is no way you can hold this gun without falling in love with it. It's so beautiful. The Damascus is exceptionally fine. The woodwork and the wood for an older style side by side is very, very nice. I mean, the dimensions are way out for me, but the fact this thing only costs 550 quid means that I could put enough money in to have a nice extension, to have it fitted and find myself a case inside the money. I mean, how can you not like that, period. So obviously these top three guns are not concrete. They can change a little bit. I do think that this Webley and Scott 1000 series genuinely represents currently on the market the best 1000 pound gun out there, brand new. And I'm gonna get the whiteboard out and kind of explain how I got down to these three and maybe help you choose your gun for under a thousand pounds. So the task is top three guns under 1000 pounds. Obviously two of the guns I chose were bang on a thousand pounds, but that's only because I wanted to get the best ones because they're the top. And regularly in sort of these two categories you get onto, you, the more you spend, the better you get. So we figure for a thousand pounds, you've got three options. You've got new, used, and obscure. In the new category, you've got two major categories. You've got European and you've got Eastern. In the Eastern category, Bakey, Turkish, you have the Webley & Scott, the ATA, and the Coffs. It's the three big ones at the moment. Yes, there are other types out there, but these are the three top sellers in this last couple of years. The Webley 951, the ATA, SP, and the Coffs Scepter. They're all brilliant, but they all come in well under a thousand pounds. So to get one and put it on the table, regardless, to be fair, I was tempted to put our Webley & Scott uh, Cheap to Charming on there, but felt that was a little bit of a cheat. But you know, you could get a Webley & Scott and Cheap to Charming it pretty much for a grand. That to me is pretty good, right? Uh, over on the new side, this was the hardest part actually. You had Bet & Solly, Webley & Scott, which are the same company more or less in terms of manufacture. I just feel that Webley & Scott represents a slightly more English style gun. The Franchi, the Franchi Elegante, that's a brilliant gun for under a thousand pounds. Lincoln, fantastic guns made by Fabrica Army or Zadora Rizzini. Um, and you can just touch some, I say some second hand Rizzini's for that money, but you're into Lincoln. And Benelli, you can get a Benelli M1 for well under a grand. You can buy an M2 Essential for exactly a grand. The real tough one for me in this new category was a choice between a Benelli M1 and the Webley's Got 1000 series. However, I just prefer the Webley's Got 1000 series to the Benelli M1. It's horses for courses. You can take that Webley's Got anywhere. Benelli M1, as much as it's a brilliant gun for under a thousand pounds, 
you might just be limited on where you can take it and what you can do with it. Then we come on to used. So used we put into two categories just because we can. We've got Italian and Japanese, Brandon Winchester and Beretta Rizzini Benelli. Some of the Winchesters could actually fall over into the, the obscure thing if you're going for some slightly older models. But generally, I think they're mainstream enough as a brand that people are happy to pay top money for them. That Beretta just came out top. You know, it's a fight between Beretta and Browning. There is no real clear winner, but that gun for a thousand represented the best value for money. You'll never go wrong with a second-hand Beretta. You can sometimes go wrong with second-hand Browning Marukus. Obscure. This is probably my favorite category of the lot. Because you have side by sides, you've got the Spanish stuff, the AYAs, the Sables, and Zabalas, the English stuff. Uh, the Webley 700 always comes out top in a gun for under a thousand pounds for me. They're solid as a rock, you could never break them. And, you know, they're made in England. Uh, Patriot. Woo. Um, but English guns, generally, that Henry is case in point. An absolutely stunning gun for 500 quid. 500 quid. Yes, you have to look after them a little bit more, and they're not quite as versatile, perhaps, as some of these other over and unders or same automatics. But the joy of ownership, a bit like a classic car, probably overrides all of these. You can get that out of the cabinet and fall in love with it a little bit more every time. Obscure over and unders, classic doubles, Laronas, Nikos, SKBs, medalists. Medalists are not in the Browning category period. Uh, medalists can go with Barrasinger and all that kind of thing too. In the obscure category you can get some great value for money because people are scared of taking risks. People are scared of taking risks. So all of these, although they're not risky options at all, can represent some risk. And I say you could chuck Winchester in there to some extent with some models. And actually the obscure list is probably more endless than everything else. And that's how I got where I got. That Henry was probably the prettiest looking side by side I could find. The Webley has got is probably the nicest feeling over and under for the money in the new category and I mean a thousand quid with two barrels you can't buy a Beretta barrel for a thousand pounds brand new and that for me I mean it just screams value for money and it's pretty many thanks for watching guys take care and we'll see you next time let me know what your top three will be below don't forget to like share and subscribe hi guys welcome to the gun shop